Hello, my name is Ian, and today we're looking at the Juro Sheet mod, uh, sometimes also called the uh, Moon Gel mod. This is one that came from the Facebook page, the Solo Mod Club Facebook page. Um, it's one that was put up by some 3D robotic staff. They've not said that you, you need to do it or should do it, um, there's no guarantee that you'll see much of a difference from doing it, so just know that from the outset. However, I think if you're looking for the best performance, if you're balancing your props and you want to make sure it's, it's flying as sweet as possible, there's less jello as possible, I think that there's no harm in doing this because basically what it's going to do is it's going to take away some of the vibration that could get to the Pixox IMUs um, and obviously if it's getting vibration it might be trying to correct for it. So the less there is of that, um, the better your flight can be. Now, there are two substances people use, which are the Duro sheet, and this comes in durometers. So do make sure, if you're ordering it, you don't just use a product code, you get the uh, durometer as well, which on this one is 30. Um, some people are also using this moon gel, which is what drummers use. Now, I'm not too keen on this. To me, it just feels a bit squidgy. I've had stuff on the internet where people say it can melt. Frankly, it reminds me of a Haribo sweet, and I'll be honest. I'd be no more happy about having that in than I would the moon gel and I was actually going to eat this for a joke but apparently they now do vegetarian Harry Bond. this is one and it is absolutely disgusting frankly I would rather eat the moon gel so anyway on with the mod it's fairly simple you buy a sheet of this it's on Amazon so what I would say is this sheet is way massive it could do you know probably a dozen solos with this so if you are going to buy it try and find some other owners and split the cost between you because it's you know, it's not very cost effective if you're buying all this just to do one solo. So what I like to do with this is I cut um, roughly, it's just short of a centimetres uh, width and approximately three centimetres long. You don't have to be 100% perfect with this, it's, it's a rough guess. This is just based off the uh, photographs that were put on Facebook. So that's one done. Off nicely. There we go. And then we take another one. These go on the sides that um, above the pig's hog. We then want um, two that are about roughly about a centimetre squared. These go at the um, back of the frame. There we go, that's them all prepared. Two long strips and two nice squares approximately, one centimetre in size. So the next thing to do is pop open the Solo and if you check my other videos you'll see the procedure for that and then we'll get on to putting these inside the Solo. So here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, this in fact is my Solo and I've been running this mod for a while so I've had no ill effects from it. So you can see here we've got the, the two long strips one there and that parallel to it. I believe these screws here are holding in the pixel. We may be wrong with that, but that's what I believe is the case. Um, you can see this solder line here, all those particular points that are soldered. So use that use as a guide if you want. I've slightly overlapped with that going on to here. And then at the back here, we have the two square pieces. And you needn't worry about sticking this down because it's it's fairly sticky anyway. It's it's not going anywhere, especially once this is pressed down and holding them in place. So that's all you need to do. A very simple mod indeed.